You know your YouTube channel is getting serious when you buy a whiteboard and set it up in your apartment. What? Alright guys, welcome to the video. Today we are talking about protein and we're explaining it. We're going to talk about the difference of each one, what are the pros and cons, what are some of the benefits. Alright, so the first type of protein we're going to talk about is a whey concentrate. So basically, after the milk process has been done and you've taken the top part of the whey, this is basically what you get. You take that away, you filter out some of the impurities, and this is what you get. So a whey concentrate, it, can, it has a big variation. It can, it can have up to 30 to 80% of protein. So meaning, say you have a 50%, if you have 20 grams per scoop, only 10 of that is going to be protein. Um, I mean, a lot of the companies nowadays tend to go up to that 80% mark. But just know there is a big variation. Um, also, it does have the presence of fats and some carbs. Uh, not a lot. You're not going to get a lot, but you are going to have that presence there. And then also you are going to have some lactose. So the big thing here is if you are lactose intolerant, I would suggest going to a whey isolate, which we're going to talk about next. There's some really good things to be said about a quality whey concentrate. You know, Optimum Nutrition Gold Standard Whey is a whey concentrate. It is a blend between concentrate and isolate. This is the one that I've taken. It, this is also a blend, so it's a whey concentrate and a whey isolate. Um, TigerFitness.com, MTS Nutrition Whey. Whey concentrate, solid choice. All right, so the next type of protein is a whey isolate. So this is taken the whey concentrate and it's taken it through an extra stage of filtration. So that means it filters out um, pretty much all of the lactose. Um, so if you're lactose intolerant, great one to have, whey isolate. And then it filters out um, pretty much all of the fat and the carbs. And I, I know a lot of products will say it has zero carbs. It might have like one gram, maybe less, but they can just go ahead and put zero because it's less than one gram. And it might have, you know, maybe one or two grams of fat, but it has very little compared to the concentrate that we saw before. So since it does go through an extra stage of filtration, you know, the company's spending more money on that. So they're going to charge you more money, which equals a sad face. No one likes to spend more money. But if you, you know, lactose intolerant or if you want to go for a very clean protein, um, if you're tracking your macros, if you're contest prepping, a whey isolate is a good one to have. The two methods of filtration that I'm going to talk about today, um, one is going to be ion exchange and the other one is cross flow microfiltration, which I'm going to talk about now. All right, so the two most popular um, methods that uh, companies will use to filter their proteins, one is going to be ion exchange, which is done at high temperatures, very high temperatures. Uh, it does use chemicals and it does denature the protein, which isn't very good. So sad face. So basically ion exchange is done at high temperatures. It uses chemicals to kind of chop the protein up into that whey isolate and then it takes, you know, it removes most of the fat and carbs like we just spoke about. Um, we, and ideally, you know, I don't know if, uh, about you guys, but I don't really want chemicals added into my protein. So I try to stick away from ion exchange whey isolates. The one that I would recommend and to keep an eye on is cross flow microfiltration. So this is done at low temperature. It doesn't add any chemicals and it doesn't denature the protein, which is what we want. A lot of products, if they do use this method, um, they'll label it on their product. So uh, for example, this whey isolate is dy Dynamize ISO 100. Um, it says on the back that they use cross flow microfiltration. If it doesn't say anything, um, I would just assume it goes through ion exchange because companies don't necessarily want to brag about them using ion exchange, but they do about cross flow microfiltration. So happy face. Now we're going to move on to a whey uh, hydrolyzate. Final protein that we're going to talk about today is a hydrolysate or a hy hy hydrolysate, whatever you want to call it. Um, but basically, this is taking the whey isolate that we talked about before and it's chopping it further into peptides. It's going to chop it up into pre-digested peptides, which means that it's going to be the fastest absorbed type of protein. So 
there's a lot of hype about this and it's like, oh, you know, hydrolyze it is the protein you want to go for. It's absorbed the quickest. Okay. But the reason they brand it that way and they want you to buy it is one, because it's more money. They're going to make more money. Um, but things that you don't know is that it does use chemicals to chop those up and it does denature the protein, which we don't want. Again, sad face. The only people I would recommend this to is if you have a digestive issue or if you have digestive problems that have been um, pre-diagnosed or have been diagnosed from a doctor or a qualified physician. Those would be the only people that I would recommend this type of protein for.